guys, I'm here today with a homeware haul. I've done so many hauls and you know what? I'm not even that ashamed because I will be buying a house this year so I've bought a lot of this stuff with that in mind like a lot of the bigger items in this haul were purchased for my house some people might say that's stupid because obviously I don't know the size and everything yet but I call it forward thinking and I will find somewhere for them to go I've done that with the last two flats that I've rented and it's always worked out there's always been somewhere for the stuff to go but a lot of these things are like upgrades of my IKEA furniture because I kind of want to get rid of my IKEA furniture give it to charity or just give it to people who need it because I think I've outgrown it a bit now and I want to get some more durable pieces in my home that are going to last me and that I think are cuter. <laughs> I'm going to start out with the smaller things and the first thing is this cushion. This is from Primark. It's kind of a multi-toned faux fur cushion. It's got darker grey and lighter grey in and I just think it's adorable. It looks really lovely on my sofa because I've got a grey sofa right now so this just kind of blends in but adds a little bit of texture and I think it's really nice. I'm on second day hair today and I hate wearing extensions when I've got second day hair. I just feel like they don't go in as nice and am I the only person who really doesn't like dry shampoo? I think it's all right if like I really need to go somewhere and I can't wash my hair but to me it just makes my hair feel super heavy and like weighed down and more dirty than it was before so not a fan of that. I got this cute little mug and it's got I think it's a cat but it might also be a fox, I'm not too sure. It's just got these blue crosses on and the little fox cat drawing on it and this was £10 from Urban Outfitters. I think it's adorable and it's in kind of a speckled oatmeal-y coloured mug. I love this mug. <laughs> it's also the perfect size and I love mugs that are more square rather than going like rounded. So yeah. Onto something a little bit boring. I got some storage container pots. <laughs> wow. These were from Asda and they were two pounds for all three. And I always find that if I've got some fruit, I'll cut it up and then I won't have anywhere to put the rest. So I've just got these to pop in my fridge with like leftover food in. They're cute coloured though. I like them. Another thing that I've got recently, it's not really home related but it is stationary related, which lives in my home, so it's kind of homeware related. Did any of that make sense? I find it so hard to get my words out today. <laughs> this is a cute little journal, and it's baby pink, and it just says daily journal in gold on the front. And what I love about this is, you can write your own date in it. Like on each page it's got a space for the date and the month and I just find that so good because I can't use diaries, I just forget to use them every day. So something like this helps me a lot because I can just use it whenever and kind of like chop into it and then leave it for a bit and then go back to it because it doesn't have the certain dates on. It's from Urban Outfitters if I didn't say. The next thing I got is this Amy Winehouse Back to Black vinyl. I keep searching for some vinyls so I've got a vinyl player, what's it called, record player and I just want some of my favourite albums to play on it and this happens to be one of my favourite albums so I got this from Urban Outfitters if anybody knows a good place to pick up vinyls quite cheap can you let me know because they're crazy expensive at Urban Outfitters and I don't want to be paying that if I'm going to be getting quite a few I just think it's kind of ridiculous Oh my god, something for Nelly that I got is this little black dish. This was £1.50 from Asda. Now Nelly is my cat and sometimes if I'm eating something, like if I've got a tuna sandwich or if I'm eating some chicken or something, I want to give Nelly some because we like to share. <laughs> one true bay, and I just thought this would be such a cute little plate to give it to him on. Obviously I don't want to give him a lot of my food because I want him to eat his own food. Joey doesn't share food! So this is a perfect size really, it's just like a little treat for him. Another thing from Asda are these oven gloves. I've got one single oven glove that kind of just looks like this, and it's pink and it's from Asda, but I always find that one isn't enough, like some things I can't get out of the oven one-handed so I picked this one up. It's sky blue, they're really good because they're rubbery so they don't get damaged and they don't get dirty, they're just wipeable. 
I think these are amazing actually and I would really recommend them if you're going to be getting a new flat or house or just moving out somewhere. These are super good ones to get. I've had my pink one for nearly two years now and it's still in perfect condition. I just wanted one with two hands. That was £12 by the way. Another thing from Asda is this weighing scale. This is a scale for me, not for food. Sometimes I just want to know how much I weigh and I don't have a weighing scale so I thought I would get that. I like to just keep track on it because I'm the kind of person who always thinks I've put on weight when most of the time it turns out that I haven't. I just have it in my head that I have. So now I've got this to prove that I haven't. <laughs> Not that it's bad to put on a little bit of weight but you know. One thing that I got from House of Fraser is this gorgeous cushion. It's just a square cushion. It's not that big but it's also not too small. This was supposed to be £30 but they had a, I think it was a 20% off day because I got two of these. They were supposed to be £60 for two but I got them for 40 so it was £20 off. I can't work that out. I'm crap at maths. If you could feel these, you would understand why I bought them. You might be thinking, oh my god, £30 is so much for a cushion. And I agree, to be honest, it is a lot. But as soon as I felt these, I was just like, oh my god, these are going to last me forever as long as Nelly doesn't wee or poo on them or anything, which he shouldn't do. They're amazing. It, they're so soft. I've never felt anything as soft as these like a teddy. So I'm excited to have two of these on my sofa. I think they're so cute. Another thing that I got for my place is this rug. This is from Urban Outfitters and it's just got little tassely bits on the bottom and the rug itself is just a bunch of colours and it's triangles so it's a geometric print. I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of colour but I've got this unit behind me which I'll talk about in a minute and I wanted a rug underneath but I didn't want it to be super boring so I've got a massive grey sofa and I've got quite a few wood and things in my place now and different metals and stuff so I wanted a little bit more colour so I bought that one I'm pretty sure it was quite inexpensive actually like £16 or something it's made really really well though so I would recommend that but I actually got it for underneath my coffee table then I realised it was too small so definitely check the dimensions it's not that big but it fits perfectly under this unit i also got these elephant lights and these were from primark home they're just gold little lights i don't think i've got them turned on right now actually it seems a bit dark i didn't switch them on i think these were about 10 pounds so or eight pounds or even six pounds primark home is really affordable so probably like around six to eight pounds I think they're so cute. The little gold elephants and they've got stars in them. Okay, so everything else that I've got to show you are kind of big things or things that I can't move. And the first one is my lava lamp. I got this from Urban Outfitters. It was quite expensive. It was like 30 quid. But oh my god, it's literally one of my favourite things that I've ever bought. I love it so much. I've always wanted a lava lamp. I've said this like 900 times on my vlog channel. But I've always wanted one and I've never been allowed to have one. So now that I'm in my own place, I saw it on the website and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to have to get that. It just adds a little like futuristic funky vibe to my apartment. I think it's quite cool. And I chose to get the green one. There was a pink one, but the glass on the pink one is also pink which I think is really bad because then you can't see the bubbles in it because the glass is pink too so I just got the green one and I'm really happy that I did another thing that I got is this blue cabinet behind me this was also from Urban Outfitters I swear this video isn't sponsored this was so expensive I'm still unsure whether it's worth the money or not I personally don't think it is worth the money I thought it was gonna be like a whole meter bigger than it is both ways like width and Height. but I love it anyway and it fits everything in that I want it to absolutely perfectly so I decided to keep it and also I just love it I think it's so pretty it's this turquoise blue shade and it's quite industrial looking it's got like bits of paint missing and stuff on purpose obviously and I love the whole industrial vibe so I got this and I just like to keep all my bathroom stuff in it because I don't have room in my bathroom for a cabinet so it lives in here and it hides everything perfectly but it still looks so cute. Another thing that I got from Urban Outfitters is my record player stand. This was also expensive but these pieces are the ones that I'm going to be taking with me when I have a house and they're going to be like main pieces in my living room and stuff so I thought I'd invest in them now rather than it getting to the time where I'm moving and then being like crap. I want lots of expensive stuff that I can't now get because I've spent that money on other things. <laughs> 
Am I even making sense? This record stand sits in front of me to the right here and my aim for it is to have a whole load of records on each of the shelves just filling it up completely and then my record player on top. I think it looks so cool. I really love it. It's mixed metal and wood and it goes perfectly with my coffee table and the next set of drawers that I'm going to show you. And my dining table is actually metal as well, so the metal bits on it go with that. The second to last thing that I've got are these apothecary type drawers, and these were from a place called Vincent and & Barn, and I actually saw these on Viviana's, I think it was her beauty collection video, and I fell in love with them from that. I've been looking for something like this for ages, but the ones that I've been looking at have been like over a thousand pounds, and I was just thinking, nah, there is no way on earth I'm going to be spending that much on a set of drawers unless they're made from freaking gold or something. Then I saw Viviana's video, fell in love with these ones, and I left it a few weeks to see if I still definitely wanted them. I just couldn't stop thinking about them. I thought they would look amazing in my place. They go with my coffee table and the record player and my dining room table. I just think they are amazing. All together in the unit, there's 16 drawers, and they now hold my makeup. Once I move house, they're actually gonna live in my bedroom, and I'm gonna get a headboard made out of wood that matches the shades of wood in this, like reclaimed wood headboard, just one giant slab. So they're not gonna live in my living room, but they are so heavy that I just can't bear to take them upstairs to then bring them down whenever I move. So they're in here for now with my telly on top, and I think they look quite cool actually. I can't even stress how well these are made though. At the back of each drawer they've got this wooden kind of disc thing which you can turn and then if you open the drawer fully it means that it doesn't come out of the socket and that's something that these ones don't have. Like if you pull these drawers the whole drawer will just come out and I think that's really bad whereas if you pull these ones and you pull it too far by accident they won't fall out anyway if you've got the thing turned up. They've honestly just thought of everything, they're so well made, they're so heavy and I love them, they're my new babies. How can drawers be like new babies? If you guys want me to do a makeup collection with them thumbs up this video and let me know because I'm happy to do that. Also thanks Viviana for the idea because I just think they are gorgeous and I wouldn't have found these drawers without seeing that video so I'm so grateful for that. And the last thing that I've got recently is this poof and this is from Asda. I've been looking for something to match the rug that I could sit on to film my videos because I wanted this in my background and when I was sat on a normal height chair it meant that the chair was like here because these drawers are quite small so the chair was like here and then when I was sat on them I was like way too tall to even be sat in front of the drawers that's one of the reasons why I got them to be in my filming background so that just seemed silly to me so I got this little so I got this little poof from Asda which I love, it's kind of Moroccany and all the colours match the colours in the rug perfectly. It was £25 and I think you can only get it online. I actually went in store to get another one because I love it so much and I couldn't find them so I still need to order one. Gabby, when you're editing this, order another poof. I've just realised through this whole video my lights have been going faded and then bright. That is so annoying. <laughs> Sorry. And that is the end of my homeware haul. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also let me know if you want me to do an updated makeup collection. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and you'd like to see more videos from me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!